Okay, now we're going to install the flywheel. But before we do that, the most important thing is if you have a standard transmission, make sure you put this bushing in. A pilot shaft goes through this hole and goes in here. So. And I'm just going to use a socket and tap it in there. Okay, so that is flush with the crankshaft. And I'll show that to you. You can see it's all flush here. Now what I'm going to do just put a little wheel bearing grease on here so it's all lubricated and that's then we'll then we'll install the flywheel from there we're going to install the flywheel it's got uh, six bolts and this is a blank and we also have a blank over here so Okay, they come the bolts also have a star washer make sure you put those in there because that locks it in and you don't want this coming loose later in time because you're gonna have to take the whole thing all apart again Okay, the next thing is we're going to torque this, but we're going to use a pair of vice grips and put it on this little dowel pin here. Because it's going to rotate. Okay, here we are. 60 pounds, zero, six zero on zero. There, when it clicks, it's at 60. Okay, let's just make sure. We'll just go around. Okay, everyone's at 60. Okay, the next thing that has to go on is the clutch and pressure plate. There's two different sides. This side here side here uh, goes to the pressure plate. Also, it cheats that has a, a little thing, a label that says Philo side. So now uh, that's how that goes. Okay, six bolts.
Okay, what I'm doing here is I couldn't get that to line up, so I put my four speed transmission on a jack, lined it up with the motor, and put the, the transmission through the clutch plate and into the into that little bushing that goes inside the crank. That way, when I put it in, when I want to install this transmission that's in the car, it'll all be lined up. So now what I'm going to do is just tighten these bolts back up and that'll tighten the pressure plate, put it right where it's supposed to be. Okay, that's the that's the last one. So now the pressure plate is tight against the flywheel, and we'll pull this out. This is what I'm talking about. These splines go on the clutch, and this goes in that pilot bushing. And let me show you what that looks like. So if you look directly in here. Here is the spline for the clutch, and way in there is the uh, bronze bushing. <laughs> okay, the pressure plate is on here. The bell housing goes over the top. What we have to install is the throwout bearing and the cl clutch rod. That goes through, it's got a little clip here with a ball, so it goes through this rubber, clips in that position, and then now this whole thing just goes right out here. Now we'll bolt it up. All the bolts are on, uh, the housing is on, the clutch lever, the throat bearings are on, so we're ready to go.